Hello everybody and welcome to another Honkai Star Rail video. Today what we are going to do is we are going to play through World 9 uh, difficulty 4. Now usually I do the first clears for each individual difficulty but that's just because you had to do each individual difficulty to get the first time clearance reward. What the devs recently did was they added a feature where I I'm 99% sure they added this where if you defeat World uh, 4 you don't have to defeat World 3, 2, one first you can just go in beat difficulty four and then everything else you get the first time clearance for all of them so that'll be awesome um that can kind of cut down on the amount of kind of useless videos on the channel tbh um i have kind of left behind the idea of i would rather make a video when i have something to make the video about much rather than um much more rather than uh, just, you know, making these, making a daily video, right? Because we've been making daily videos for a while. And now I would rather just make a video that, uh, that makes sense to me. So that is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to get right into this. We're going to do the max difficulty for this. Uh, I'm going to go with, I think I'm just going to go for Fushuan as my main DPS. Not, not, wait, what? As my, as my, uh, what is it called? As my, uh, my preservation, my sustain unit. There we go. All right. Um, I'm happy with, semi happy with what this team looks like. I'm pretty happy with what this team looks like. This team should absolutely dominate. Okay. Uh, we're going to go with Nihility Path. That way, we can just always have these debuffs on the enemies and get the full value out of the four piece uh, pioneer set, which we have on both Welt and Acheron. So that is really nice. Um, hmm. Yeah. I think I'm going to go with this for YOLOs. Let's see how fast we can actually do this. This is going to be fun. It's going to randomly pick whatever Nihility. We're going to try and speed run this. See how fast we can actually get it done. Because I still haven't done an Acheron uh, Sim World run on the PC yet. That was... These are all bad. Oops. Okay, where are all the Nihility Blessings from? I literally picked Nihility Path. I'm having to reroll my, my blessings every time. Akron makes us so much faster, by the way. It is kind of ridiculous how fast, how much faster she makes this. That's, that's pretty okay. Okay. Yeah, so, you know, like I said before, we we kind of didn't, we, we did each individual difficulty because you had to for the channel, but I would rather just make videos that I want to make uh, whenever I have something to talk about or have something to do. And this is a new piece of content, so I want to do it, but I don't want to do every single difficulty of it because it doesn't really add anything do the other difficulties it's just it's basically just a uh i don't know a placeholder for like a daily video is what i've used it as in the past but i don't really care about daily videos as much i'm not trying to hit that bar anymore um whatever i, I definitely don't need to hit that bar at all to feel good My Akron is very strong. Goes, you know, alt again. Ooh, four hundred and eighty-seven thousand. Akron is such a monster, such a, an amazing character. I'm so happy that I pulled for her, 
and I am genuinely feeling like really fulfilled in the in the fact that I pulled for the Eidolons. I, I believe that I am uh I'm happy with the fact that I pulled for the Eidolons. I also had the uh the Nihility uh sealing wax. Okay. Both of these are like DPS light cone, so it's really like I'm not really gonna need this unless a defense damage dealer comes out, which like adventuring, but no, like that's it's not exactly how adventuring's been working. Whoops, almost sliced up her to there. Bruh. Okay. I weep for the departed. Akron is going to absolutely obliterate. Oh wow, actually she she didn't. Because of the uh the effect that the trotter has. But that's fine. My welt's kind of Going crazy on him right now. Fifty-two thousand from each of his things. It's a lot more damage than I've seen him do before. Probably because I finally completed the, uh, the pioneer set on him and leveled up his uh, relics. A bit better. I'm very happy with where my Akron is. The only other uh, thing that I want to hit, the only other benchmark that I really want to hit, is um, I want to get her in one hundred and sixty speed for the set. I think it's going to be hilarious if my Acheron takes five turns a turn because every time she goes, obviously I can pair her up with Sparkle now because I got the E2, which means that I can have a ton, a ton of, ton of, okay, this was complete overkill. I can have a massive amount of skill points, so it doesn't matter if she's going a lot, uh, like five times a turn on her own and then also getting, uh, buffed in the turn order by sparkle because she should have the, the uh, skill points required to do that and then every time she uses her skill she puts on like two right she puts on two let me see she put on two marks on the enemy with her skill inflicts one I swear it goes up by two, but maybe I'm wrong. Oh my god, why am I lagging? Oh, it's probably because I have Helldivers 2 open. Okay, maybe that was why. Alright, looks like we're back to normal now. I wonder how hard I absolutely clap this. All right, let's see. No, she just had five and now she has eight. Okay. So I wasn't wrong. I wasn't wrong. She, for every target she hits, basically, she gets a stack of her passive. Her, her uh, you know, the thing that she counts up to her alt for. So that is really good. That is kind of broken. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I believe that's what it is. Which is cool. Akron's been an absolute beast. Um, yeah, I, I'm trying to build her absolutely massive speed demon. She'll keep using her skill over and over again. She'll keep giving herself the stack. She'll keep alting. She'll alt a lot more just like on her own and that means she also becomes less reliant on other people to apply debuffs as well if she's going so many times plus <clears throat> if I can get that extra speed which should be easy <coughs> and it's not that I'm um sacrificing parts of my build for it because 
Okay, so I'm only eight speed away. So that would be getting speed on two different pieces. This piece, I really don't like. The only thing that good that it has is crit damage. Um, like super useful. It has like obviously attack is the main stat, but it has crit damage. I would prefer I would prefer just the crit damage than like attack, crit rate, speed. That would be an incredible piece, obviously. Um the boots are good, the the orb is good. Uh, this piece doesn't have uh, speed, so if I could get a crit rate or crit damage one that has speed on it as well, that would be really nice. Uh, this one will be a little hard to uh, replace because it has attack and crit rate also. All right, that has 7 speed, and this has 12 speed. And these are the kind of the pieces. This one was 7, this one was 12, this one was 6. Combined with the boots, you know, of course giving me... The amount that the boots give. Um, I'm not a big fan of the... Uh, I mean, I guess the effect hit rate is decent and a attack is good to have. So, I mean, you know, it's whatever. The boots are okay. Um, yeah, I have like three more pieces that could get a combine of eight speed on them. That could, you know, improve just a little bit. And then get her over the 160 speed uh, edge. And then what that would do is... If you saw, you know, the set that I have on her... Um, Equal to or higher than 160, she'll get another 6% more damage, which isn't crazy, but, you know, the 8 speed itself will allow her to take an additional turn, uh, so it'll increase the amount of turns she gets there, and also it'll increase the amount of damage. The combo of those two things is obviously kind of pretty good. Um, I just want my, my Akron to be an absolute demon, the most, the most devilish, devious... Damsel anybody has ever seen on any account ever. And I know I would need E6 for that. So, I mean, you know, I'm working on it, guys. I'm working on it. By working on it, I mean, like, I don't like spending a ridiculous amount of money on this game at all. Um, so I'm waiting for her rerun to come out, like, two more times and saving for it. So, obviously it's a lot to save for, but once that happens, it is going to be ridiculous. Her alt and her skill is going to be able to break the, uh, the toughness bar, the, um, the break bar, no matter what element it is. So she basically becomes the only character you ever need in the entire game, which is unbelievably broken, um, but fun as hell. Because Acheron, just like I said in an earlier video, here's the thing about characters, right? At some point, you are going to reach a point where I'm pulling Acheron, even though she's a lightning DPS that deals really good AoE damage when I already have Jing Yuan. If I didn't like Akron as much as I did, or she wasn't as good as she was, I don't think, like, there would be no reason to pull her when I have Jing Yuan already performing the same exact job. Unfortunately for Jing Yuan, um, he's kind of hurting after this one, boys. I don't know how often I'm ever going to use that character again, honestly. And it is kind of sad because I do love that character. But, I mean, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Whoa. Oh, if only it didn't have break effect. I don't know. I'll lock it because break effect isn't horrible, but speed, crit rate, and crit damage is crazy. Like, th that is nuts. Oh my god, if this was attack percent, I would have locked it, but no, not locking that. Anytime I find a piece that is decent, I lock it. I probably messed up, by the way, because I believe all, yep, my relics just, yeah, they all just went to zero. Well, oh well, is what it is, I guess.
It's gonna be trotters. Oh, uh, okay, never mind. I don't know if I've ever seen this one before. I don't know if I've ever had to make that choice before. Huh. That might actually be a brand new encounter that I've never seen. I mean, not brand new, but like, I don't think I've ever seen it. Um, yeah, as I was saying, unfortunately for Jing Yuan, I don't know when I'm ever going to use him again, right? And that's just the thing, right? Now that I have Acheron, who is in that insane upper echelon of, of lightning characters, I don't think I'll ever need another lightning DPS ever again. And then, also, the same for Jing Liu and Don Hong Ael. I think it would take an absolute monster character that is completely overblown, giga broken, to ever replace uh, those three characters. Acheron, uh, Don Hong Ael, and Jing Liu. So I think I'm 100% solid on never, basically never needing to pull another character of those elements again. This is, these are like horrible, but okay. All of them were useless, basically. How much do I have? 90. Actually, I can upgrade one thing. Oh, no, I can't. I thought I got the, uh, the curio that puts them on sale. Yeah, so that basically just means that any time that those characters get reruns, if there's nothing else, if the new characters that are coming with them don't really, like, entice me at all, I can basically just say, alright, whatever, and then pull for Eidolons on those characters, and then just get them even stronger, and then basically make it so that an even more, more, more insane character would have to come out to ever replace them. I genuinely feel like having Akron and having her E2 and building her into the absolute most devious devilish monster of a character has future proofed my account. I don't know what is going to break me. I have gotten every star on MOC. I've gotten every star on Pure Fiction, the Pure Fiction that just came out. I maybe, you know, it wasn't working out for me for like a very, very short amount of time. Uh, the fact that the bounce, the bounce skill procs all of those if it lands right is crazy. You just instantly got out of that. Wow. I weep for the This is really just insane. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Um yeah, I, I feel I feel like I'm very future proof. I'm very satisfied with where my account is right now. I I don't know what is going to break me. It's going to take an absolutely monstrous enemy boss type whatever to kind of defeat me at this point I weep for the departed. it's slowly but surely coming along my Acheron isn't exactly uh e6 so she's not breaking the weakness of it. It's it's a little rough, you know. 
But she's definitely doing quite a bit of whittling on this thing. I weep for the department. Yeah, it's coming along. She deals a lot of damage, but you know, not weakness breaking it is a lot of damage missing. Alright, yeah, they need to ult before they get taken to the shadow realm by this thing. Ooh, the same two again, huh? Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Oh my God, Welt skill just instantly freeing her is crazy. Welt is absolutely popping off. In this fight, by the way. Like, Akron's doing her normal thing, but having Welt, he is doing work. And he's also basically the only thing breaking this, this thing's weakness. He's working on it. He'll get there when he gets there. Don't worry about him. Welt's getting there. Nobody dare insult my boy. Number one has Bondo in the game. Weltarino. What is his obsession with taking Sparkle to his sex dungeon? Like, what is going on with this guy? That's a creep. Ridiculous. Unbelievable. All right, well, break them. Need to break them. Close. Actually, I think Akron's gonna kill him before he's broken. Oh, yep, there we go. <laughs> All right, I beat it without breaking it once. But honestly, this new world is really fun. I really like that boss. I think that boss is genuinely like challenging. Was that three main stats, bro? Or three flat stats? That is crazy. Oh my god, the, the sub stats are awful. Oh my, the main stat is awful. Guys, we are getting unlucky. Let's see what we get from our first time clear, though. Okay. Yikes. Oh, that's what we're talking about speed crit rate with the with the attack percent that's good that is actually good yikes yikes that's good that 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 is pretty decent um i just don't know okay so the passive for this, so someone else have to follow the same path as the wearer. It could be good for blade, but I think inert salsado is just still better because it improves his follow up attack by 20%. I don't know. And that like him doing more damage with the follow up attack is good because you'd want to pair him up with Bronya. So it matters. Yo, this is crazy. Attack percent and speed? As long as we got lucky and it went into those substats with the energy regeneration rate, this is an insanely lucky piece. It, it, it could be perfect if all the substats go into that. So that's really nice. All right. How close are we to the next? Okay, we're four out of eight towards the next light cone. I think we should probably go Nihility. I think it just... It just makes sense. Um, actually, no, this is because it's dot. Oh, no. Yeah, no, this is the dot focused one. That would be really good if we were doing a dot account, but we're not. Okay, so we're going preservation. <laughs> or we're waiting until they add new ones. I cannot, be I cannot believe right now that there's still only four. And they don't even have, they don't have an ear edition one. 
They don't have a uh, abundance one. Where they at? They have destruction, hunt, nihility, preservation. So, hopefully they can add those. Maybe I'll save. Maybe I'll save for like a future one that isn't even out yet. Thank you all for watching. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching this video. Um, these ones are usually only for my like really dedicated fans. I don't do any special thumbnail or anything for them. It's just like basically where I sit down. I do this. I do some simulated world because I find it fun. And I yap. That's really it. So, yeah. Peace.